My name is CJ Gammon. I'm an advanced web technologist at Adobe Systems. Um, we do a lot of advanced prototyping and demos showcasing the new features that Adobe is implementing in WebKit. The quest for the graphical web was created for the graphical web conference in Zurich. We wanted to really tell the story of the web and how, it, how it's not only grown from a graphical perspective, but where we see it going in the future. My name is Vincent Hardy. I'm the director for the web platform group at Adobe. My heart, I think, has always been in creative things. I've been inspired by you know, things I've seen in movies or, or more uh, immersive experiences. And that got me thinking that, well, you know, we should really try to do something that's a lot more um, visual or more graphical and also more of a narrative about what we talk about. We did a lot of early brainstorming. We knew that there were some key points that we wanted to focus on throughout the presentation in a way that's really rich and engaging when they're sitting watching this keynote. So we put together this sort of narrative where Vincent actually communicates back and forth with these characters on screen. All right, well, that's pretty 1995, Div. Um, I, thought, I thought you could talk. Sorry, just a little nostalgic. Where to from here? We wanted the story that follows Div through this landscape to mirror the development of the web graphically. For example, the color comes into the scenery when you meet CSS, and we also sort of animate the hills using SVG. And then we veer into the new, you know, the new world, the coming world of uh, you know, blend modes, shaders, and, and coming features that are you know, in the works, but not, not readily available yet. So we tell that story, and we go on Earth, we go into space, it's, it's kind of fun. What we ended up doing was building this rich interactive presentation that we also repurposed as a website for people to view the source of and see how we did it to learn. We think there's a lot of tools and a lot of things like the CreateJS set of libraries, simple and approachable resources available that can really help people bring their projects to the next level and really help the, the web evolve and grow. I think a lot of creatives don't realize what's now at their disposal, that they, they're free to express themselves already in many, many ways on the graphical web. And we think this is awesome and should foster a lot of creativity on the web. We're really looking forward to the type of content people create with those web technologies. Mm -hmm.